Hi, I'm Ray and I'm in the garden and I'm really, really excited. I've just picked up this hydrangea and it was free on Marketplace and it's looking okay, nothing special. But I'm going to overwinter it and see if we can get it to grow nice. So hydrangeas come in a few various varieties and I believe this one is a mop cap where the blooms are big spores of flower and they can be blue pinks whites and as we can see just on this one here we've just had a little bloom so that's looking good so to winter the hydrangeas we don't prune off the flowers we leave the flowers we leave them all on and it gives the plant extra protection throughout the winter we're just due an arctic blast so it's going to get cold so i'm just going to do a few things for this hydrangea first thing is i'm just going to remove all these weeds and plants from the base we don't want it taking and the energy away from the plant and this one's in a container it's a nice container but it is plastic so compost freezes a lot easier in containers so it's best to protect the roots we don't want them getting too cold so what I'm going to do after removing all the weeds and all the dead leaves is we're going to give it a mulch and you can mulch it with wood chips with straw or some leaf leaf mold so i'm just going to put a layer of mulch on the top it's best to do this on a moist day we want to chuck the moisture into the pot and not chuck the cold out. So it's going to protect the growing there. And this can be done if it's in the ground, just giving it an extra protection mulch on the top just going to keep the roots a bit warmer so that's looking good already so this needs to go into a garage or into a sheltered space if you don't have a garage put it next to a wall huddle it next to some other plants get them all going together but also make sure there's good drainage you don't want to be sat in water and lift the pot onto bricks onto some wood so it gives a good drain and when it frosts the frost don't get the roots at the bottom of the pot so we only come to prune these in the spring because the flower buds appear on the old growth so if we take a look we can see some buds appearing on the old stems and in the spring you can then chop one or two of the older stems and that's going to encourage the growth back in your plant. So we may find the leaves turn purple, but that's absolutely fine. It's just a sign that the plant saying it's getting stressed, but it will recover. And once we come into spring, if there's any dead branches, we can prove it back to the next bud. We can see a bud here coming out. 
and one here. So that's great. So if your pot, if your climate is really cold, you can always wrap your pot in a fleece or an old blanket and that will protect the pot, especially if you've got ceramic pots, they're going to freeze a lot quicker. So you can wrap a blanket or wrap some knitted curtains around the pot and that's going to stop it from freezing. So there you go. I'm looking forward to this hydrangea and looking forward to see what colour it is. And you can also determine the colour from the pH levels in your soil. So you can make it from pink to red to blue depending on the soil pH levels. So that would be interesting once we find out what colour it is to then try and change the colour. And that would be really, really interesting. So, really pleased. So let me know in the comments. Have you got any hydrangeas going? Have you got them in containers? Or are they on the ground? Let me know. And they do climbing hydrangeas that you also need to tie in this time of year. And if you're new to my channel, then please subscribe. Ring that bell. Get notifications when I post some more. So, I'm going to put this by the house sheltered spot and watch it over winter for the spring. Cheers!